Hey guys and welcome to the third episode of my Rust Tips and Tricks series. This ongoing series is designed to guide new players through Rust. If you have any suggestions for videos to add to this series, please feel free to let me know in the comments. For the third episode of the series, we're looking at all of the red keycard locations in Rust as of Thursday the 6th of May 2021. Keycards can be found on desks in many locations across the map and are used along with fuses to gain access to restricted loot rooms holding various loot. The keycard will lose a small amount of durability with each use, even if the door is already open. The keycards respawn roughly every 30 minutes, however this can vary depending on the number of players on any one server. Red keycards have the highest level of clearance and are used to access the red doors inside of monuments. You will need to complete the monument puzzle before swiping the card, and I'll follow up with a guide on each monument puzzle soon. The red card can be sold at the bandit camp for 80 scrap, which can be useful for extra scrap if you have many spare. The first location that you can get the red card is the water treatment plant. This is a monument and can be found labelled on the map. The red keycard here is locked behind a blue puzzle, requiring one fuse and one blue card. Using the train station as your start reference, you want to follow the road to this red building in the middle. Once you arrive, hold the use button on the wheel here to open the door and quickly run inside. Head up the stairs into this little room here and add a fuse before activating the timer. Next, run out the door and head towards the big red building in the corner of the monument using the water tower on the hill for reference. Climb up the ladder, then up the stairs, swipe your card on the door. Once inside, the keycard can be found in a small room at the back on the desk. The second location to obtain the red card is the airfield. This is another monument and can be found labelled on the map. The red keycard here is locked behind a green puzzle and a blue puzzle, requiring two fuses, a green card and a blue card. As the airfield is so open, you can use anywhere as your starting position. I'll start from one end of the airstrip. Head over to the large building opposite the hangars and enter the front left door. Take a left and then another left into this room. Add a fuse to the fuse box and activate the timer before running back outside. Run across the airstrip and towards the gap between hangar 2 and hangar 3 and jump down this hole. Follow the path to the left of the ladder until you reach the green door and swipe your card on the door. Once inside, add another fuse to the fuse box here and swipe your blue card on the door. You'll find the red card on a desk inside the room. The third location to obtain a red card is the power plant. This is another monument and can be found labelled on the map. The red keycard here is locked behind a green puzzle and a blue puzzle, requiring one fuse, a green card and a blue card. Firstly you need to head to this building located in one corner of the monument, head up the stairs and flip the switch. Next, run over to the small building in the opposite corner and flip the switch before activating the timer. Make sure everything is green before moving on to the next step. Next, run over to the large building in the centre of the monument and swipe your green card. Enter the door and go through the door immediately in front of you. Run around the outside of this room until you reach the switch and flip it before following the outside of the room back to the door that you entered. Turn left and climb both sets of stairs until you locate the fuse box to the right of the blue door and insert a fuse before swiping your card on the door. You'll find the red card on a desk on the upstairs section of the loot room. The fourth location to obtain the red card is the train yard. This is another monument that can be found labelled on the map. The red key card here is locked behind a blue puzzle requiring one fuse and one blue card. Entering the train yard from where the train station is, you want to head over to this small red building. Once you arrive, climb the stairs on the outside, enter this door in front of you and flip the switch. Next, run back outside and across the monument to this tall thin building and climb all of the stairs till you reach the top. Activate the switch and run down the tower. Head over to the front of the large building in the middle of the monument and climb the stairs till you reach the first door. Go through the door and add a fuse to the fuse box before flipping the switch. Head back outside and climb the stairs until you reach the blue door. Swipe your card and enter the room to find the red card on a desk here. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed and want to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.